We have just returned from the Department of Foreign Affairs where we attempted to present them with a St Bridget's Cross, a symbol of hope and peace in our troubled world. St Bridget bartered her father's sword for food for hungry people and in that spirit and in the legacy of St Bridget we had hoped to hand in the St Bridget's Cross. Unfortunately we were unable to gain entry. The Irish people have a long history of peacekeeping and supporting neutrality. That was one of the reasons why we rejected the Nice Treaty in 2001. The triple lock was introduced and we were reassured that our neutrality would not be compromised. Now Michal Martin is attempting to dismantle the triple lock. This is a subversion of democracy. Over the last 20 years, over 3 million American soldiers have passed through Shannon. We are complicit in the war crimes that have been committed in Iraq and Afghanistan and in other places. There is blood on our hands. We need to stop the use of Shannon by the US military. We are not fulfilling our obligation under the Irish Constitution to fulfil Article 29, Sections 1 and 2 and we are obliged to be peacemakers. Instead, we had a conference in October last year where arms manufacturers were linked in with third level institutions and small businesses. We should be peacemakers. We have enough weapons. Our world is awash with weapons. We need to be the voice for peace. We are all aware of the death and destruction caused by war and armed conflict in Gaza and the West Bank, Ukraine and Sudan in Yemen, in so many places throughout the world. And this is why we oppose the current Irish government's efforts to end the triple lock, to increase Ireland's integration into EU and NATO military structures, and to support the development of an arms industry in Ireland. Instead, we demand that the government reaffirm its commitment to Irish neutrality as the basis of a constructive approach to foreign policy based around peacemaking and peace building. In particular, we call on the Irish government to support South Africa's genocide case against Israel, not to support trade with Israel involving military research or weapons production. This is a document on the Triple Lock. The Triple Lock was a victory. It's because the vast majority of Irish people in public opinion polls have constantly said they support Irish neutrality. Now, the current Minister for Foreign Affairs is openly, actively, and committed to destroying the Triple Lock. So I would urge everybody who sees this particular video, contact your individual TD and ask not to vote in favour of the decision to destroy Irish neutrality. Mm -hmm.